Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to implement the split JavaScript SDK successfully in your environment. We provide the JavaScript uh, SDK so that um, customers can implement the SDK in their web pages and, and the SDK will be running on the browser side. This is one implementation of the SDK that we're going to talk about today. The JavaScript SDK has a factory object and from the factory object we can initialize the library and then we can get the client object from it which we will use to call the get treatment and that's how we can get our um, treatment um, so that we can enable or disable a feature. Now when the factory object is initialized the SDK will fetch all the split definitions meaning all the targeting rules and the whitelist uh, information that is stored in the splits and it will also uh, download the segments content um, under that organization. Of course only the splits and the segments that are associated with the environment since we are using an environment API key. JavaScript SDK provides two very useful events. The first event is SDK ready. This event fires when the SDK has finished fetching all the data, meaning all the split data, the definitions and the segments, and it's ready to be used, meaning you are ready now to use the get treatment call. The SDK ready timed out, this event fires when it has taken more time to fetch the split information and segment information more than the ready timeout parameter that we can specify in the configuration. We will see that in, in this next slide where we look at the flowchart. Now here is the flowchart. First, the SDK factory object initialized. Second, SDK will start fetching the split definition and the segment content. Now, if, if in this instance, we actually run the get treatment, you know, from the client object, it's going to return control, which means um, the SDK is not ready yet to, to actually calculate the treatment. Next, um, the SDK will actually start checking if the fetching is completed. And if it's not, then we're going to check if the ready timeout time has reached. If it's not reached yet, then it's going to continue checking. But if it is reached and SDK is not ready yet, then it's going to fire the SDK ready timed out event. Now, if, it's, if the fetching is completed, then the SDK will fire the SDK ready event. And at this point, and only at this point, the get treatment uh, call, if we, if we issue the call, it's, it will calculate the treatment successfully. Now here is a split code uh, snippet um, from a browser. This is what the code looks like. Now we have few sections here. This first section, we initialize the API key and we specify the customer, which is the key um, uh, for how we're going to calculate uh, the treatment. And as we can see, with ready timeout is set to two and that's two seconds. Here, we will initialize the client uh, from the factory object and the client object will allow us to subsequently uh, run the call, get treatment call. Now, since we have the customer ID uh, specified here, I don't need to specify the customer ID again in this call. However, if I need to change the ID um, that was specified from, from uh, when I initialized the factory object, I can still run a factory.client and then uh, pass the customer ID or even the traffic type if I'm using a different traffic type as well. Since in, if you're using multiple splits, you might have multiple uh, or different traffic type. Now, uh, once uh, I, I have the client object, as we can see here, we are actually implementing the event SDK ready. So I'm using client.on, and then I'm using the client event.sdk ready. And once the SDK is ready, then I'm running the function, uh, which basically just contain 
uh, treatment equal client get treatment and specifying the split name. Now, since we're using the on method here, this function will only fires when the SDK is ready. And this happens asynchronously, which means it will only fire when uh, the SDK is actually ready to calculate um, the treatment. Next, we will put an if else block that will actually uh, check if the treatment is on. Of course, it depends on how you uh, uh, configure the treatments. Let's say you're using here the default values for the treatments and there should be on or off. Thank you for watching the video. Please head to our help center in the knowledge base section and you can download samples of uh, the code used in, in this video. You can also check uh, docs.split.io page for uh, our documentation on how to use the JavaScript uh, SDK.